All right, before I jump into actually converting units, which is the topic of this thing here, I want to go back to something that you knew and loved, fractions. You don't have to write this, but I want to point something out, that if you were to have the fraction 4 over 4, we know that equals 1. You could look at it as though if I have a pizza that's cut into four pieces and I get all four pieces, I just had one whole pizza. The other way we talked about it, though, is you could say, well, if you could divide something in the numerator and something in the denominator by the same number, so if I divide this by four, I get one. Divide this by four, I get one. One over one is one. And we had that same thing when we were multiplying. Say I have like a three-sevenths times a 21, 33. When we did that, you could say, well, this 3, I could cancel the 3 and the 33. I could divide by 3 and I get 1. I could divide by 3 and I get 11. And then I could do the same thing over with the 7 and the 21. I could divide by 7 and I get a 1. Divide by 7, I get a 3. So final answer then just ends up being a 3 over 11. But the answer doesn't really matter as much as that point of being that if you have something in the numerator and something in the denominator, you can kind of cancel them out, so to speak. All right, moving down. Useful conversions. I'm just going to whip through these things here. 10 millimeters. If you think about a meter stick, those little teeny lines on the meter stick, 10 of them together make up one centimeter. If you have 100 centimeters on a meter stick, that'll be the whole length of the stick, and it equals then one meter, so one meter. A thousand meters for you cross-country runners, soon-to-be cross-country runners. It's going to be one kilometer, or one kilometer. All right, 16 ounces go into the English system. That makes so much sense. 16 ounces is one pound, so they'll do like one LB then for pound, or 2,000 pound pounds is going to be one ton. For doing liquid measurement, eight fluid ounces is one cup. By the way, you don't have to memorize all this stuff. Four cups is going to be one quart. Some you'll kind of learn as you go through life. 128 fluid ounces. So they'll do fluid ounces, which then separates it from this ounces, which is going to be pounds. So 128 fluid ounces then is one gallon. If you look at like a 2 liter, you'll see 67.4 maybe, F-L-O-Z, so 70 fluid ounces. And 4 quarts is also 1 gallon. So on the test, I'll give you whatever ones of these you need, but I'd keep this handy as you go through and do the homework. It'll help make the homework easier. So 5,280 feet is going to be 1 mile, and 3 feet is going to be 1 yard. All right, converting numbers. 3.1 miles is how many feet? Well, in order to have things cancel out, it's easiest to see them as a fraction. So I'd encourage you to take this 3.1 miles and make it a fraction. So I could say 3.1 mi for miles, and I could put anything over 1 and not change its value. So I'm going to start by doing that. I think it'll help you if you do that. And we're wondering how many feet is it? Well, then, well, if we look at our conversion factors from up above, we have feet and miles right there. And 5,280 feet equals one mile. So that essentially, they're the same number. So it's kind of like if we multiply by four over four, that's the same as multiplying by one. So if I multiply by something that this number here is the same value as this number here, I'm not changing this thing's value at all. I'm really just multiplying by one. So the question is, do I do 5,280 feet divided by one mile, or do I do one mile divided by 5,280 feet? And you can figure that out by looking at the units, that if I have miles up here in the numerator and I want miles to cancel and just leave me with feet, I have to put miles down below, because something in the numerator will cancel with something in the denominator. You can't cancel two things out if they're both in the numerator. So I'm going to then take my one mile and put that down below and 5,280 feet up above. And my miles will dutifully cancel out, just like they should. And when I do that, I get 3.1 times 5,280 in the numerator. So I, that gives me a 16,368 feet. And in the denominator, 
I just have a 1. So we can kind of cancel out that 1. That 1 doesn't matter. And we now know there's 16,368 feet in 1 and 3.1 miles, which will be the distance some of you will be doing in cross country someday if you choose that sport. All right, this next one, we kind of do the same sort of way. So I'm going to take my 96 fluid ounces and write that over 1. So 96 FLOZ, I'd recommend, over 1. And we want to change this to gallons. We want to have gallons in our answer. So we need to look at those conversion ratios, figure out, well, is there one that will convert fluid ounces directly to gallons? And when I look at that, let's see. Yep, I found it. At this thing here, this many fluid ounces is one gallon. So then I can scroll back down to this thing here. Say, all right. If I want my fluid ounces to cancel out, if one is in the numerator, the other has to go down below. So my 128 fluid ounces will go down below. And so I'm going to put my 128 FLOZ fluid ounces. And that's the same as one gallon, so I could put that up in the top. And now I like doing the units next. Fluid ounces cancel with fluid ounces, so the only units left, gallons. Exactly what I'm looking for in my answer. So that's beautiful. And now when I take and punch this in, I get a 96 times 1 in the numerator. So that's 96, and the units are gallons. All divided by 128. And there's no units there. So really, I have 96 over 128 gallons. I could maybe very carefully erase that. But that doesn't really help us a ton. Instead, let's actually punch that into a calculator. 96 divided by 128. And let's see if I can squeeze it in here still. So that'll give me a 0 0.75 gallons. So it's 3 quarters of a gallon. It's 96, it's 96 fluid ounces. All right, one final one, then we are done for the section. 65 centimeters is how many meters? So just like always, 65 centimeters, let's put it over 1. So 65 cm divided by 1. And I'm going to have to have centimeters down below to get that to cancel. So if you're not familiar with it off the top of your head, we could go over here and say, well, we need to look at centimeters and meters and how those suckers are connected. And that's going to be right there. 100 centimeters is 1 meter. So I'll jump down here, and I have 100 centimeters is 1 meter. Okay, and units cancel out beautifully just like we wanted to. So the only units that are left are meters. And I get a 65 times 1 in the numerator for 65. When I multiply my denominator, I get a 1 times 100 gives me 100. So it's that many meters. And punch it into a calculator. And you get 0.65 or 0 0.65 meters. So in other words, 65 centimeters is 0.65 meters. That's it for the section. Let me know if you're stuck on something. I'd love to help you. Have a great day.